Hello everybody, Gamer Penny here bringing you another episode of our Final Fantasy 14 online let's play and we are back with Vesper. Um, I believe it's at the time that I'm recording this. It is the day before 5.5. <laughs> um, which should be pretty cool. Um, like I said, I'm gonna probably probably really wait uh, to do that and experience it with you guys the first time. Um, I've been really back into WoW Classics, so I don't have the urge to just jump in and play Final Fantasy XIV, uh, like no life. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to be playing 5.5 or, or Endwalker, um, until we get there with Vesper. So, that's the update on that. Um, oh, that is so pretty. What the heck? I've never noticed that before. Okay, I'm distracted. Uh, today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take on Dramatis Persime, uh, and speak with Lena Mirilla. This is gonna lead us to a alliance raid, I believe. So let's talk to Lena here. As I said before, I think it better we continue this conversation in the privacy of the young lady's barge. It's not that I don't trust anyone here, it's simply that I don't trust anyone here. <laughs> Gate guard Minigumo has been instructed to look out for you. In future, speak with him when you wish to gain admission to the docks. Okay. Alright, Lena. Thank you for coming, Vesper. You're probably wondering why I've summoned you to an airship, and a Garlean one at that. Allow me to explain on the shuttle. Wait, I didn't know this was a Garlean airship. Oh, I, I guess by the looks of it alone. Yeah, that's, that's a cool airship, though. The Prima Vista serves as both stage and home to the Majestic Imperial Theater Company. You can keep that dirk in your drawers. No one here is a member of the Imperial Army, nor are there any spies within the troop. At least no known spies. Uh -huh. Ask anyone and they will readily attest. The Majestic Imperial Theatre Company are the finest practitioners of the dramatic arts to be found anywhere on the three great continents and beyond. They have admirers throughout the Empire and its territories, and even boast a sizable following in Gridania, hence my assignment to their, their story. It is a little known fact, outside Garlemald at least, that the late Emperor was a devoted patron of the arts who supported various theatre troops to the tune of much coin. Cool. Indeed, Solus was so enamored of the majestic players that he ordered the construction of this very airship that the troop might perform in every corner of the Empire. When his grandson took the throne, however, everything changed. Now all theater troops, domestic and foreign, must submit their works for approval by the Central Imperial Board of Censors. If a play is deemed vulgar or inflammatory, it is banned and the troop denied their writs of transit. The worst offenders? Well, they are never heard from again. Dang. This policy has effectively left playwrights with one of two options. Compromise their creativity, integri creative integrity to curry favor with his radiance, or put down their quills altogether. The principle of the Majestic, however, chose a third option. To express his disapproval for the new Emperor's policies obliquely in ostensibly unpolitical works. Pray forgive me for my earlier outburst. I am Alma Bas Lexentail, daughter of Principal Genomus Khan Lexentail. Mayhap you have heard of my father's latest play, The Zodiac Brave Story? On the surface, it is an innocent retelling of a well-known Garlean fairy tale, hardly worthy of the censor's attention. But beneath, it is something quite different, a fact that censors failed to spot when they approved the manuscript for public performance. The play quickly became a huge success, 
The common folk loved its fantastical story, while the learned classes appreciated its true message. By the time the Imperial Board of Censors realized their mistake, it was too late. No longer in a position to prohibit the performance outright without admitting fault, they took aim at the company's purse strings instead. Before long, noble patrons began to withdraw their support, fearing to be associated with the troop, and by the end, even the learned felt compelled to feign ignorance. By bleeding the majestic of their funding, the censors robbed them of their voice. And none of this has made it any clearer as to why you're here. Right. <laughs> Allow me, Lena. Sid. I forgot that he was involved in this. I've known Genomis since we were students at the Magitech Academy. When I heard his daughter was in Kugane looking to enlist the aid of an adventurer, I felt compelled to give her your name. Sorry for not announcing myself sooner, old friend. Genomis and I were from different worlds, but that only served to fuel our friendship. Many were the nights we would prattle on into the wee small hours. Warm flagons of peated ale numbing our minds to the other's naive ideologies. Yet no matter where our conversation began, it would invariably end with him telling me how he was going to change the Empire from the inside out. The troop was to be his path into the people's hearts. Even after the Empire forced him from his home, Genomus never gave up hope that his work might change the world. Art will ever strain against artificial bounds and borders, man-made walls and misguided wars. It is in such times of uncertainty that we must needs embrace our calling and take to the sky so others might do the same. What I am trying to say, rather poorly I concede, is that not all Garleans are hone, hewn from the same stone. Just as there are those who pledge their lives to the Empire and would never think to question the authority of its leaders, there are those like Alma's father and myself who love for their country does not blind them to its flaws. Still, try selling that sack of sunflower to an Elamigan or a Doman who has watched his family consumed in the flames of a Magitek Reaper. How many of yours in adventures do you think would leap at the opportunity to help an Imperial search for her missing father, and in Garlean territory no less? But you, you are different. You have seen enough to know that the line between good and evil is not defined by race, color, or creed. So what say you? Uh, I would make a poor adventurer were I to shy from adventure. Indeed. Now that you understand the nature of the task, perhaps Alma could provide some insight as to where we begin our search. Shortly before my father disappeared, he began work on his next play, a successor to the Zodiac Brave story. Ah, but I am getting ahead of myself. Please, follow me. Still back into a cutscene. <laughs> yeah, this reminds me of is it ten <laughs> two when they're on the airship going around. Uh, though through adventure and hardship, young Delita, a boy of common blood, becomes a hero culminating in the birth of a mythical kingdom of Evilis. Well, that's, uh, that's 12 right there, I think. But that is where the story ends. There are no records of anything that was, or that follows. Was Principal Genoma simply going to invent something? My father believed that he had discovered evidence of a second hero. 
one whose efforts went largely unnoticed, but who, without whom Delita would never have risen to the throne. His was the next tale he wanted to tell, the true Zodiac Brave story. A second hero? According to my father's studies, this young man was one of Delita's closest friends and confidants. That is, until the untimely passing of Delita's sister forced the two to part ways. Yet, the unnamed hero continued to provide aid to his friend by thwarting the machinations of those who would scheme against Delita, thus paving the way for the pauper's rise to Regent. You must forgive me, but I've never heard anyone make such claims. How exactly did your father come by this information? That is a long story. One which begins and ends with Genomus becoming lost in the very legend he sought to lay bare. Even as far back as our academy days, Evilus had Genomus firmly in its grasp. He flatly refused to believe the story was just a fairy tale. And so, when he was finally driven out of Garlemald, it was only natural that he should choose this of all places as his refuge. Was it not, Elma? That is correct, Master Garland. It has long been my father's belief that the ruins of ancient Evilus lie beyond Nagzia. Na Nagzia? Hmm. Buried beneath the sands of the Dalmasca Desert. Poor Dalmasca. The kingdom prospered in relative isolation for countless generations, until the Empire came calling. When not touring, my father would organize expeditions into the Dalmasca Desert to search for proof of Evilus' existence. Sometimes he would bring back strange artifacts, ancient tomes, and crystals. Crystals unlike any others. Yep, that is Final Fantasy XII, straight up. My father called them Orosite and claimed they were vital to proving his theories. This is one such crystal. By the Twelve, it's magnificent! Evolution legend tells of crystals bequeathed by the gods unto those who would be kings. It is during his quest to gather Orosite that young Delita rises to prominence. I must have heard the tale a thousand times from my nursemaid, but that is all it ever was, a tale. My father would often tell us how the Orosite spoke to him. At the time, we assumed he was speaking figuratively. The stone's beauty roused his muse. But then he began to act strangely. How so? Following our arrival here in Hingashi, my father spent most of his time cloistered in his chambers, poring over his past research, and though he was alone, we would oft hear him in conversation. It was not uncommon for my father to recite the lines as he wrote them, but it soon became clear that this was something else. It was as if he was talking to my mother, my mother who passed several winters ago. Might this not have been out of mere loneliness, or perhaps the strain of your flight from Garlemald? Possibly, but that would not explain the voices which answered him. Oh. Who's this? Alma, who are these people? I told you I did not require any help finding father, especially from outsiders. So good of you to join us, Ramza. Allow me to introduce... Enough, Master Sid. Dang, dude, you don't cut off a Sid like that. We may be shunned by the Empire, but we are still Garleans, and we still have our pride. Unlike some, it seems. We require neither the aid nor the pity of foreign rabble. Have you forgotten where you are, brother? It is we who are the foreign rabble. This land and its customs are all but unknown to us. We would be fools to conduct our search without a proven guide. Your sister is right, Ramja. As for my good friend here, you mistrust is ill-placed. I will personally vouch for her character. In all the time I have known her, she has never once let anything as insignificant as race or creed color her judgment. You are lucky to have her. But we would have you, Master Garland. Why do you refuse us? You know why. Until this affair with Omega is resolved, my hands are tied. It pains me to refuse you and your sister, but it pains me far more to leave Genomus to his fate. I am sorry. You need not apologize. I let my emotions get the better of me. After what happened in Rabinoster, I it may be time to admit we're out of our depth. 
My brother's last expedition met with tragedy in the ruins of the capital city. He barely escaped with his life. The Empire turned Rebinastra into a death trap. You were a fool to set foot there without a proper e escort. I realize that now, Master Garland, but at the time I saw an opportunity to rescue our father, and I took it. Whatever led you to believe your father was in Damascus capital? My father's fascination with evolution legend began with a trip to the uh, antediluvian city long before the war. Call it a premonition, but something tells me that that is where he has returned. Now you must excuse me, I need some time to think. Man, this is a long quest. <laughs> Then, Alma, I shall leave you and your brother in Vesper's capable hands. She has ever repaid my trust with interest. You would do well to grant her yours. Thank you, Master Garland. We will not forget this kindness. Can we go to the raid now? <laughs> Where is it? More story? All right, Ramja, what do you got for me? Master Garland seems to think highly of you, so I will withhold judgment until after Delmasca. Okay. Oh! Protagonist theme. City Fallen. Okay. Damascus is nestled in a forgotten corner of the Empire's outermost territories. I do not foresee any trouble from the standing army, but would suggest committing to memory the locations of each of the barge's exits, just in case. As for the fight itself, the currents above Damascus are as wild as the lands below. You may want to hold on. outfits <clears throat> taking off I like how it looks like a castle on top <laughs> enjoying the ride we'll complete our descent into Rabinastra in the shuttle oh she's not coming with Ramja I thought I made myself clear, Alma. The capital is simply too dangerous. Father would never forgive me if I were to lose you trying to rescue him. Come, we are wasting time. Aww. I mean, but if it is dangerous down there... Uh, I wouldn't take her either, <laughs> to be fair. The Royal City of Rabinaster. Man, this makes me want to play 12. Which is another game I've never beaten. I can't remember how far I got it in 12. I think I gave up when I went into, uh, I tried taking on a hunt in the mines. 
and it was really hard, but you weren't supposed to go to it and do it right then, so I just was like, this game's too hard. <laughs> According to my father, Rebanaster was already a thriving city some thousand years ago. But after performing several private excavations beneath the so-called Desert Sapphire, my father came to the conclusion that it was not the first settlement to stand here. Then, your father believes that Rebanaster sits atop the royal city of Lasalia, capital of Ivalis. But if that's true, it could change history. We would be famous. Famous? Are you sure you don't mean rich? Bah, your kind are all alike. Parasites grown fat on the sweat of suffering of others. Jeez, dude. Bold words for a boy of but 16 summers. And what, pray tell, have I done to deserve such spite? I only wish to learn the truth behind the disappearance of the Empire's foremost playwright. If that should lead to something bigger, well then, I would be the worst reporter in the realm if I did not pursue it. Uh oh. Yes, yes. We can argue about this now, or we can return to the Prima Vista and report to our army of adventurers that it is time to begin the expedition. I humbly suggest the latter. There's someone there? Oh. <laughs> Gosh. You see? It is as I said, brother. Let them come to us. Should we kill them now? No. The time is not right. When has that stopped us before? Cool. Do you see that one? Slayer of Gods, they call her. Warrior of Light. They know who I am. The Royal City of Rabinaster, now accessible. Alright, well it took us 20 minutes to go <laughs> through the quest, but uh, we're gonna jump in there. So, um, I'll be right back. I'm gonna sign up and it's probably gonna take us a little while to get in there. I'll jump in the duty finder. We'll see how long, uh, oh, yep, we can do it. Oh, we're gonna get some cool stuff there. So join, uh, oh, seven minutes. Okay. All right. So I will be back once we're inside the dungeon. So sit tight for me and we'll be right back. All right, everybody. We are back in Rabinaster. And it did not take seven minutes, it took over 30. <laughs> but I think it's because it's counting and showing you the times for when people are signing up for alliance raids in general. Um, but because I chose a specific one, in this case, Royal City of Uh yeah, it took a little bit. Cool, look at everybody there. Man, and uh, 30 minutes allowed me to browse Eorzea Collection. <laughs> and get some planning going for, and I'm gonna I'm gonna scroll way out for this, so apologies. Uh, but get some planning going for um, uh, glamours. I, I have one, I have one glamour, uh, all set and ready to go. And I think we'll maybe like switch it up every so often when we're out there. So we won't just wear the same glamour. Okay. Um, here's the thing that I remember about this is that I was not very good at it. And I died a lot in these raids. So that's literally all that I remember. So be prepared, basically. All right, I don't think we want to step on the blue. I, I honestly, I, I couldn't tell you what we're supposed to be doing here. <laughs> Killing this stuff, maybe. Oh, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna guess. What is that ice skating thing there? What's happening? She's just going around and ice skating, huh? Whoops, I was not paying attention to my mana. I'm gonna I'm gonna get ley lines going here. Rebind, he's cast Living Shield Protect Me. Hmm. <laughs> I literally don't remember uh what happens in this in this raid. Uh oh. Looks like this back corner is remember what I came in here as a bard I think so as a black mage is probably gonna be even <laughs> more ridiculous because bard just has tons of movement oh yes I, I want those they're a much better for us anyway but B what do they look like I mean they look like trash but <laughs> uh, also I would like that just for the gear <clears throat> but it's a it's a uh, it's a belt <laughs> and, they're, and they're going away uh, are we healing chocobos because I'm not a I'm not a fan of this <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what else to do. Oh god. Okay. It landed right on me, man. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't know, a flare? I, I think that eats all our mana though, right? Oh, interrupted. Alright. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. Father mentioned the Empire using their might. To... Oh, I didn't read that. Hey, could I get that gear? Can you guys vote? Can you guys roll on it? I'll probably get that one. I'm not sure if another, you know, um, caster is doing that one, but either one would be fantastic all right Hashemel, bringer of order <clears throat> uh -oh. ow okay maybe okay maybe we don't stand on this stuff what I think is <laughs> we don't stand on those. Ow. What's that? What's that big tower? Do we gotta stand behind it? Oh, he sliced it down. Okay. I'll follow the group. just tells me something where if I came in here as a bard and had trouble and the bard is like one of the most mobile class am I under a shadow here that I'm gonna get smushed uh, one of the most mobile classes out there uh, out 
Oh, how am I not dead? I, I really thought I died there. Okay. I feel like, yeah, I should get over here now. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> we kill these things? Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 don't. <laughs> okay. Thank you for the heal, my friend. Ow. Alright, can we get our, the swing of things back in order here? What, uh, what's going on here? Yep. <laughs> I'm assuming we stand behind this now. Or not, I don't know. Oh no. Did we do it? Oh no, I won. I won some stuff. Okay. I, I, I thought we won, but it was the. I was getting gear. Man, this is a little. Uh, and we're gonna have to learn how best to do this. It's a little tricky when you gotta move around. So I gotta get better at using swift, cra swift cast and triple cast here. That people did warn me, you really gotta know the mechanics to be able to, like, be the best black mage. Which is absolutely true. Hey, is no one gonna open this one? <laughs> uh, what do we get here? We'll greet those. And we'll greet that. And I, I do know that I got new gear, but I want to, uh... Cosmetics. <laughs> That's, uh, I, I want to cosmetic. <laughs> it's just. I could put the belt on, I suppose. Archie lion and arch demons, huh? Let's do a. Uh, put that stuff on there. Dang, we do some big crits here. Aren't they doing a level s or a, um, not level squish, a, a, um, stat squish in, uh, in Endwalker? Is that something that I heard? Where are we jumping down here? Oh my god! <laughs> oh, the waterway, cool. What do you mean? Hit it, hit it right. Oh, am I going with the wrong group? I think I went with the wrong group. No, they're still all in range. I didn't even like look to see which group. What group am I in anyway? A. Yeah, they're in range. A couple of B's are in range though too.
Oh, someone's in here looking for glamours. I bet there's cool glamour in here. What do we, what do we do here? <laughs> I, <laughs> I love groups like this. Right, there you go. They're coming. Did we do ours? Okay, yeah. I I just love this community. I <laughs> The Final Fantasy community is so much fun. Like, they do silly stuff like that, like take out the glow sticks and whatnot. <laughs> and everyone's do it looking for glamours, and you hardly ever get yelled at for dying. Like, it's just, oh, cool. It's just a really cool community. Oh my gosh, this is awesome down here. fighting here? Raphael. Rofacal. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Get going here. Uh-oh. Something weird happened. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it was, but it didn't sound good. Okay. Oh. Alright, so if you get something on you, it attracts that guy. No, am I a knock in? <laughs> I didn't. Dang it, man. Okay. Sounded weird as well. I'm not in that, am I? No. Trampling again. Okay. All right. I got trampled. Got trampled something fierce. <laughs> no, dang! I let it fall off again, man. Okay. That. Well, now it's gonna fall off for good, and it's on cooldown. That's where, like, being a good black mage you know well don't hit it again because he's about to do something cool here what's that <laughs> okay that doesn't look good oh that look do we stand in do we stand out we stand in okay <laughs> well i got stunned by a horse and chariot Now what? Okay, now we go in the middle. I'm scared everyone's putting their stuff up. Thorosite! Now we get out or? Oh, I barely. No damage there. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Alright, let me do ley lines, some knock in, this. Let's do a little this. Let's do a little this. Or am I facing him? I don't want to be facing him. Oh my god. I got wrapped up in something. I can't move. Uh oh. He's doing some sick chariot thing. There we go. going to trample. Up. Oh. That means going around me? Yes. Okay. Good. Oh, God. <laughs> Get out of that. Okay. No, go off. Yes. This. This. Okay. I feel like we need to run away from that. Yep. That hurt. 
Okay, we're gonna, I'm, I'm, we're doing pretty good. Yay! As I, <laughs> I mean, I feel like we're getting the hang of stuff. Okay. Um. There, and I used a swift cast pretty well. Do another foul. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there as a black mage. Oh crap. <laughs> yeah, I'm in some darkness. There. Alright, we won. <laughs> cool. No deaths, no nothing. We did pretty darn good here. <clears throat> Ooh, I will need that. happened here. Air here feels wrong. Can you sense it? Death awaits it. Oh, is that their dad? Uh-oh. Who's this dude? Argeth Thadalfus. What a name. He looks like an Argeth Thadalfus. Okay, they all started it, it's fine. Now that you can teleport inside if you watch the cutscenes, that's cool. Alright, he looks much cooler in this form. Let me <laughs> put that out there. Who dares disturb the slumber of Argath Thadalfus, rightful king of Ivan? I like Thadalfus better than Thadalfus. Descendants of House Beowulf? Then by my sword shall I banish your souls to the deepest hell. Sick, he looks cool. Alright, and then we'll have to teleport inside, which is yep, perfectly fine for us to do that. You will be judged. Alright. Kneel and repent. We have to we have to do something special on these? Battle fist. Okay. Didn't even get. I didn't even get. Uh, <laughs> I didn't get nothing off here. Ow. What is this? All right. Let's just get a foul going. I guess. I don't know. Um, I needed to roll on this stuff as well. We'll greed that, and we'll greed that. You have a blood to stay in the circle! Oh! Does it grieve you to see the depths of your own weakness laid bare, maggots? It's a... Shard of emptiness, okay. Buddy. Divine commandment turn. The world has no place for such riches. <laughs> Your to light this forfeit. Uh oh, temporary misdirection. How dare you? <laughs> okay. I don't I can't it's not turning the way I want it to turn. <laughs> Am I on the thing? No. Okay, we're good now. Voice of God commands you to flee you and not judged. stop. I am a 
Uh -oh. As if God commands you to turn away. Are you supposed to do it or not do it? The world has no place for such wretches. Your claim to life is forfeit. Temporary misdirection. That's fine. You can misdirect me all you want. Oh! I can't. I can't get there. Oh, I got there. Okay. <laughs> Dang, man. So, I guess if you do it, you don't get that misdirection, but if you don't do it, you... That's, that's my guess. What a, <laughs> what a fun raid. Battle first. All right, cool. Zodiac Thriller. <laughs> Fun stuff. That's cool, right? I like that one. This body, it is not my own. Oh, gods, what have I done? Save me, Ramza, save me. Bunch of orchestration rolls. Is that a naked aura there? <laughs> this guy, oh god, he's wearing a, a speedo. That's a cool outfit, too. There's Thadifus card. Yay! Royal City of Rabinaster complete. That was cool, I like that one. GG, let's do a player comm for anyone who's left. Our healer was pretty good. Um, we're gonna... These are not all the same, right? Yeah, okay. Need, 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 greed. That's something. In the last roll. Alright. Let's get out of here then. So we got some new pieces of gear, which is nice. Uh, I think they it said they were 330 gear, which is better than what we had on. Or sight. They're dead. Where? Where am I? Father. Ramza and the warrior of light. Yes, I know of you, but that you should come to my rescue. Words fail me. Poor playwright, I must seem. Uh oh. Uh huh. The term you're looking for is thank you, upon which note I, Bagamon, bounty hunter, do humbly thank you, warrior of light, for delivering me this fine gift. You're bounty hunters. Now hand over the orosite, unless you wish to see the desert sands turn red, and be quick. Gidjik here does not have the steadiest of hands. That one. She will bring it to me. It'll be all right. Dang, dude. Uh, was that Zodiac? Yes, this is it! The Duma! And to think we found it so close to Doma. The Duma of Doma. Blah ha ha ha! No! What? I liked that guy! I liked the joke. Enough, Boggy. 
We would not have our guests think us underbred. <laughs> you have what you want, you thieving lizards. Now unhand him. Of course, Obanga is always true to his word. I will be keeping this, though. Are you taking his journal? Father! You've only yourselves to blame for this, but if you mislike the thought, you could always blame the gods. Not that they are listening. Ha ha ha. Get up, fool. We're leaving. Oh. He's still alive. <laughs> you didn't even let him get on board? You're gonna be alright. We cannot see to your father's hurts here. Come on, we must get him back to the Prima Vista. Okay, first things first. Can I class cast glamours here? No. That's gonna bother me, but we've got two pieces we can put on. 290, and they are 330 pieces. Oh god, the gloves. Okay. Uh, Lena. Genomus remains deep in slumber, but his breathing is steady and his fever has subsided. For now, all we can do is wait. I sent word to Sid. I hope you don't mind. Yeah, no problem. They say I just didn't enter just another 20 minute cutscene. <laughs> No miss. Alma, Ramza, can you ever forgive me? And you, Sid, it was never my intention to put you to such trouble. I'm ever in your debt. You would have done the same for me, Genomus. Besides, it was Vesper here who went to all the trouble. If anyone deserves your thanks, it's her. He is right. I have done not to deserve your kindness, yet I am its beneficiary nonetheless. So if I understand correctly, you're saying Aurasite does not work to facilitate the possession of a living host by an icon, as was assumed to be the case with Yasail and the Archbishop, but rather absorbs the host's aether, its very soul, and somehow transforms its, it before returning to its host's body. Oh. <laughs> I just put like two and two together uh, of something that we haven't seen yet. Uh, if that is the case, our Charlian allies will need to be informed immediately. But I suppose the real question here is, did you find what you came looking for? The legend would have us believe that Delita Harrell, the commoner who would be king, was the sole hero, hero of the Zodiac Brave story. But as I have discovered, there was another. Two others, in fact. Siblings, whose roles faded from subsequent retellings of the story. A brother and sister by the names of Ramza and Alma. Then, to prepare for this assignment, I poured over every published work in Evolution Legend I could lay my hands on, and nowhere did I find any mention of these siblings. But I did. I uncovered irrefutable evidence that Delita had a close companion named Ramza, who aided him in his rise to power. This in turn led me to Alma, 
and that I might never lose sight of the truth, I named my own children after these lost prayers. I'm sorry I never told you any of this, Sid, but you must believe me. Evilis has never been a mere pastime of mine. It is and forever will be my calling, my purpose. My family's purpose. Go on. <laughs> Go on. Uh, the world knows me as Genomus Ken Lexentail, yet that is but my stage name. My true name is Arislam, Arislam Durai. Countless generations past, it was my ancestor who penned the Durai Papers, an account of Evilis and the War of the Lions that details what truly occurred during that turbulent era. You are tired, father. Rest, I will continue. Long ago, an orphan by the name of Orin Durai crossed paths with both Ramja and Delita. After Delita's rise to power, Orin found himself in the service of the pauper become king. Following the War of the Lions, Orin believed the people of Evilis had a right to know the truth of Ramza's involvement, and set about documenting his deeds. When the church learned of his intent, however, they branded him a heretic, and had him burned at the stake. The Jirai papers were never published, and any existing copies were gathered and sealed away in church vaults. The truth about Evilis, along with them. What was so damning about, or damning that it would drive the church to do such a thing? The answer to that question can be found in this book, the only surviving transcript of my ancestor's chronicle, copied from an early draft and passed down for untold generations. With this, my father and I plan to reveal the truth and restore honor to my family name. Forbidden Chronicles? A secret family legacy? Not that I doubt you, Genomus, but how do you expect to convince people of all of this when well nigh every soul in the realm believes Ivalis to be nothing but a bedtime story? By proving that it is anything but. And when people see that Ivalis was real, the rest will fall into place. Were it as simple as bringing forth the Chronicle and submitting it for review, we would of course have done so long ago. But alas, it is not. The Jurai papers you see are written in High Evolution, an ancient Ton Lawn extinct. My father, his father, and his father before him labored tirelessly to decipher this tome, but for want of other sources made only fitful progress. A word here, a phrase there, it wasn't until a recent expedition to Rebanaster turned up several well-preserved artifacts that we were able to translate a small portion of the papers. Then the diary stolen by the Bonga bounty hunters. I'm afraid so. Everything we had learned of the language was contained in those pages. Then we're back to where we started. Not necessarily. We still have the transcript, as well as some few translated passages, and of course, my father's impeccable memory. I have come too far to allow a simple so simple a setback to deter me from my purpose. I will show the world the truth if it is the last thing I do. It is as Master Garland said. He is a man obsessed and I fear Evilis' grip on him will only grow tighter. Father was fortunate to escape Radbranaster with his life and already he speaks of continuing his quest. Promise me you'll keep him safe, please. Yeah, man. Uh. Oh. Or a sight. Alright. Cool. Uh, hey, hey, Lena. After what I've seen here, I'm all but convinced that Evilis exists, at least in some form. The problem will be gathering sufficient evidence to convince the thousands of scholars and historians who have based their careers on the presumption that it doesn't. Not that I've ever been one to shy from a challenge, especially when it means the story of the century. If you're in Vesper, then I'm in. If you're not in, well, I'm still in. Either way, you'll be hearing from me again soon. That much I promise you. <clears throat> okay. Is this, uh... 
Vesper, where in the world have you been? Did you not receive Alma's summons? Principal Lexentail's research into the Orosite may finally have borne fruit. We must hurry to the Prima Visa before they embark on some grand and perilous adventure without us. Okay, good. I wanted to have it in my journal, but I'm not gonna do it right now. Cool, so... That was- hey, we're in a city. Can I, um... Oh. Update. Cool. Um... What, uh, 334, can I do, what was the thing that we couldn't do last time? Was it this? 350, and we are at 334. Okay. Maybe we'll run it again just uh, to have some fun. But uh, for now, I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, and when we come back, we'll probably continue on the main story or try one of the other dungeons or something. Uh, but I wanted to switch it up a little bit, make sure we got at least one of those alliance raids out of the way. Uh, so guys, I want to thank you so much for all of your support on this series. If you do want to see more of the Final Fantasy XIV online Let's Play, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Alright, bye everyone.